<laughs> what it is everybody, your boy Save Me One Thumb, you know what I'm saying? Happy Friday to everybody. So, last night's video got blocked. I have disputed it. Um, we will see where that goes, you know what I mean, what happens with that. Um, but, I'm going to talk about my my song. That I'm, that I talked about it last night, of course, but it got blocked, so nobody got to hear it. Uh, <laughs> YouTube, all right, YouTube, it's on. You know what I'm saying? But um, so yes, I have my lyrics. I've written them down. I've probably got to do one more verse. I got to see. I got to try to put it together to see how much more time I have left on my beat. Um, it's been a challenge. Uh, it's been challenging. Uh, I, I did record a little bit just to practice, just to see how I sounded, you know what I mean? And of course I'm reading it, so it sounds like I'm reading it. Um, I'm trying to get to the point where I have it memorized, and I've been freestyling to that beat nonstop. Not very good, mind you. I'm not very good at freestyling anymore like I used to. I mean, I, I wasn't the greatest back then either. I was a little bit better than I am now. Hey, I'm getting in the zone though. I am. I'm getting inspiration. I'm getting in the zone. I'm getting to the point where I'm about ready. Uh, so who knows? Maybe this weekend I might record and I might uh, see how that how that goes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to memorize my own lyrics, it's sad. I can't even remember memorize my own writing <laughs> uh, so easily. Um, but I haven't put my mind on memorizing songs in a long time. Uh, so get my mind to work back around that. Um, also audio wise, I want to make sure that my audio to my vocals is clean and crisp. Of course, this mic is good. I, I don't have a condenser per se. I do have my dead cat. Know what I'm saying? So that might be okay. Um, <clears throat> we will see. Um, I'm thinking about building a makeshift I don't, what, what do they call that? The little sound absorber that goes behind the mic, you know what I mean? Um, little foam covered little thing. Um, I'm ghetto, so I make everything that I can myself. So I figured I have foam. I have also um, pillow fuzz, you know what I mean? Uh, like It's not in a pillow yet, it's brand new. I used it to layer the inside of my speaker box that I that I made with some really solid wood, and I wanted to help that sound. It, it did help a lot. So I still have that. I got some foam, and I might just take some cardboard and just kind of shape it the way I want, that curved kind of shape, and then put that stuff around it. It might work, it might help, I don't know. Or I'll go to a closet, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I, really, my closet is a really good closet. It's, it's big, but it's got clothes and everything else, so the sound quality would probably probably be best in there. I don't know. Whatever. But I am getting it worked out. Um, I'm really excited about doing this video and doing this song. I will make a video for it. Um, I already have uh, what I want to do in mind. I already have the thought behind this video uh, to go with the lyrics. It won't be too crazy. It's, it's going to be pretty simple because, um, again, I'm not some master cameraman or anything, and I don't have a crew or nothing, so it's going to be me, and it's going to be pretty simple, I think. Um, but, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That is my update on my rap song that I'm going to do. And I'm hoping that this right here will give me some inspiration because Nintendo Fan Guy, you said this to me last night and you said, can you please do this tomorrow? You said this is about his life. Now this guy, I don't know how to say his name, is Matt For, I don't know if it's you or Matt, Matt For Yo, I don't know. You know what I'm saying, Matt, we'll call him Matt. I guess he's a rapper here on YouTube, underground rapper, whatever. I don't know, I don't know this guy. I know you've been talking about him though. So this is King of the Basement, official music video by Matt for yo. You know what I'm saying? 
So, y'all, before we get started, don't forget to push that like and subscribe button, you know what I'm saying, to help me out, you know what I'm saying, to tell YouTube, hey, quit blocking this guy right here. This guy's awesome. He's too cool. You know what I'm saying? He, he's the man. He's the man with one thumb. Well, quarter thumb, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. I started off making crazy videos in my basement. That hasn't changed yet. Ain't it funny how you <laughs> I like that. I started off making crazy videos in my basement. That hasn't changed yet. <laughs> I like that. You know what I'm saying? Straight up honesty. You know what I mean? I like a sense of humor. Mine's going to be a little bit different than this. Mine's going to be a little bit more down low. I mean, y'all heard the beat, you know what I mean? So it's going to be a little bit more down low, you know what I'm saying? A little more personal. Let's get it. I started off making crazy videos in my basement. That hasn't changed yet. Ain't it funny how you come to know so many different things and how much love and affection one incident brings? I'm starting to get sick of these things like sipping a drink and getting snickered at because it isn't like River Sunny D. So come with some of these. I'm like a buzzing bee, making rap as one and leave, afraid that I will come to stay. Get on the coast of I'll hoist the oysters off the porch, stick a fork in your point. I'm gonna I like this guy already. This dude is straight up fire. For a nerdy looking white guy, you know what I'm saying, skinny like a twig, you know what I'm talking about, this dude's straight fire. Yes, that's, that's, that's the thing about rap these days. You know, when I grew up, you know, I'm 34, so I was still on the tail end of a lot of the beginning. Of course, you know, I was born in 86, uh, but in the 90s, of course, I was, of course, alive and listening to music all the way up, you know what I mean, to now. But uh, the rap I grew up on, of course, what was around, there wasn't any white rappers, you know what I mean, beyond like Beastie Boys and, you know, Kid Rock came out later on. Uh, you had Vanilla Ice for a moment, you know what I mean? I was still young, uh, you know, whenever he whenever he, he was out, you had you know, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, which Mark Wahlberg hates being called that. Um, you didn't have many, many white white rappers, but what I listened to a lot of, and a lot of my influence to a lot of my music, of course, 36 Mafia. The Hypnotized Camp Posse in general, I mean, Project Pat, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Tech Nine, um, got so many more. So many more. Uh, ICP, of course. Um, those are my big you know, inf influences. And for my song that I'm going to do, one song I've been listening to pretty much on repeat, which is an underground song, an old school song from, Pro from Project Pat called Red Rum. And um, I've always, he's one of my big, big, big influences because uh, I always like the way he, worded it. I always liked the way his rhythm went. I liked the way he, the vocals, like how he, the way his voice was. He, I just love his style. Even though he's hardcore gangster rap style, you know what I'm saying? But just the way he worded it, the way he said it, the way he, in that song, Red Rum is a, it's a story about his friend, you know, who got killed and he went and took on revenge, basically, you know what I'm saying? Um, they had a warrant for the death, so he served it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the, he, he says that. Uh, and that song, to me, is giving me influence, inspiration on my song, of course. Not in that way. Totally different. But just that motion that is put behind that song. Um, also, NF. You know, he's newer, of course, but he's a big, huge inspiration. Because he's younger. He grinded. He's doing it. You know what I mean? And the song I'm listening to, to again, for inspiration purposes, is Let You Down. You know what I mean? Um, so those two, I've been, hit, I've been hitting them up. Uh, also, Gone with Seppi. Uh, that was a good one, too. You know what I'm saying? Called Runaway. Really good song as well. Deep. I'm, that's what I'm listening to. Deep, personal-type music from all different, from all around. You know what I'm saying? Um, to get myself in the zone 
of the song that I'm going to make. Sorry, I know I'm blabbing a lot. All right, let's get it. We're only 33 seconds in. I've already talked probably about five, six, seven, eight minutes. Let's get it. Be making rappers wanna leave, afraid that I will come to stay. Get all your boys to gather round in a closer. I'll hoist the oysters off the fork, stick a fork in your pointer. I'm gonna like that, I'll hoist the oysters fire. off the fork, or I'll hoist the oysters off of whatever, and then I'll stick a fork in your pointer. <laughs> Let's get it. Make your ointment moist and your coronate. For your space is not support of torture. Sing the genre, to make sure form a taste. The call mine and delivery. A sort of blade you paint with paste. Not fake, it's all exquisitely. I'm much more different rhythmically. I'm vicious towards your mimicry. I'm twisting things like similarly. You're thinking it's a symbol. With the way you draw connections, I would say your brain's an etch a sketch. That you just can't make it happen like you were Gretchen and Fetch. I got the best of all is when I fall. I'm like a basketball. I'm while I'm standing tall. You're in the vestibule of vegetables. I catch you staring at me on a box of cereal. Here, my girl has Matt, and I'm hazardous. Oh, that was clean. I relate to that like that. The girl look, looks at me like hazmat because I'm a hazardous material. That's clean. I like that. Great use of... I thought about using that because I'm a driver, okay? I, I actually haul a lot of hazmat, a lot of hazardous materials. So that's something you never really hear in a rap song. I'm trying to think back. All the rap songs, I've never heard anybody actually use the term hazmat. You know what I mean? Maybe hazardous material, but I don't think I've heard anybody actually say hazmat. This dude's pretty smart. I'm going to tell you that right now. This dude right here is smart. I like his style. This dude's got this. This is another rapper. He's older now. He's some Jewish guy. I can't remember his name. And uh, But this dude's like smart, like insanely smart. His lyrics were just completely off the hook. I mean, crazy. And this what this dude right here reminds me of right here. Let's get it. I hear this girl has Matt. I'm hazardous material. Spherical and it's structure, and these weirdos appearing in as if they could pop my bubble. If they're stuck in trouble, but they want to say they're not stubborn, they can kiss my ass. Assumption that they're butt hurt because it is a positive proportion proposition, and it's probable that possibly they're posse and preposterously popular for pessimism, persevering in their population. I'm just paying all my problems away. No compensation, I'm saying as anger manifests, people exaggerate that they're as oppressed, obsessed with unrest in a state of protest, as a facet to with lack of stress or acid indigestion. Someone fasten so called strategists. Wow. Oh, for yo, for y'all. I like that. Hi. Right. Don't don't touch it. Don't touch it again. Well, they just fade away. <laughs> that is straight up clean. All right. That's song's over. You know what I'm saying? Straight up clean, man. Nintendo fan guys, you just keep coming with these things, man. Why is this dude not bigger? You know what I'm saying? Why is this dude not bigger? I mean, he has 32,000 subscribers, which is way bigger than me, of course. Um, I wish to have 32,000 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I, I would wish to have that. I will, eventually. I will get there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm in no hurry. Uh, but, uh, man, this dude's smart. He's, he's young. He's smart. Lyrically amazing. Uh pleasing too great great sound to his voice that's also my next thing is finding the tone to use your freestyle is different it's just right there off the top of your head it's, it's rough it's raw it's dirty you know what i mean whatever try to actually physically record a song it's not that dang easy 
and uh, oh, man, to really try to get the emotion into it, try to get what you know, whatever it is I'm trying to do. Man, it is not easy. Um, I'm not dreading it, of course. I'm excited to keep going and keep pushing because this is a dream. Um, I should have said this at the beginning so you guys could hear it because a lot of you probably, probably haven't made it this far. Uh, but this year has been chasing a dream. This year has been me chasing dreams and you guys have made so many of my dreams come true so far. Uh, from making a thousand subscribers on YouTube. That was a dream I never thought I would make. I never thought it would happen. I, I didn't know where to go, how to do it. And I found doing this, I found this, and you guys have brought me where I'm at now, almost 1,400 subscribers, uh, almost 300,000 views. It's crazy, who knows, I, probably, I'm, I might be at 300,000 now. I haven't checked in a, a week, um, but the past few videos haven't gone anywhere really too too far um i've done a dance video which i've always wanted to do and post it uh, i dance in every every video pretty much so that's three hundred thousand people who have seen me dance i've always wanted to do that dance in front of people and and not be afraid to do so and you guys i do that as well and it's in the beginning it was nerve-wracking and now it's like it's normal for me to do it um also I want to create a rap song. I've always wanted to do that. Um, and so I am working on it now. And uh, this year has been about chasing dreams and uh, accomplishing said dreams. Small, they are, but they are dreams. And you should always chase your dreams, always push yourself and always work harder to do, to do them. Um, don't give up when, when you're young. That's the best time. Don't wait till you're my age, 34 years old, to start chasing dreams again. Um, last two dreams, really, that are big for me, be in a boxing match. Like, I mean, I've, I've been in boxing matches, nothing like sanctioned. None of friends in the backyard with boxing gloves on and getting after it. Uh, in an MMA fight. You know what I mean? Those are two other dreams, but I can tell you right now, the MMA fight probably won't happen because, you know what I mean, I am getting older. It's, it would really suck to join now at 34 years old and try to get back in shape <laughs> like that, you know what I mean, and get my butt whipped. Boxing, though, is more of a possibility. Uh, I'm not in a gym or anything. I need to. Uh, I, I was thinking if I, if I, when I quit smoking, which I'm going to try so hard to do, um, that's when I would like to do something like that if I ever had the free time. The problem is I don't have the free time. And that's part, partly why I'm doing this YouTube channel. This is, that is the very final dream is to make this my job, to make this my everyday income job. This, that is the end game. And that is my final dream is to be able to work from home, whatever it is I'm doing, uh, and to use that money, you know, whatever I make from here, which again, I'm still, I'm still taking don uh, donations from my grandmother uh, to give her money as well too, uh, but to start my own business, like a snow cone stand, something simple. That's just my, my simple little dreams, you know what I mean? I'm tired of working for somebody else, straight up. I'm sick of it, all right? But uh, I mean, literally, I am, I am just so tired of it. Yeah, I've been working since I was 14 years old, you know what I mean? Oh, so I've been working since I was 14, but all the way up until I was about 20, it was all dead end, crappy jobs that meant nothing. You know what I mean? Now we're just pointless jobs, of course. And then 20s when I was like, okay, well, time to get time to get serious, time to start grinding, it's time to start doing something with myself. Um, you know, since I dropped out of school at 15, time to start doing something with myself more than just these crappy dead-end jobs. And I just kept progressing from there to where I am now, uh, making decent money, really decent money. I mean, I can't complain. I am complacent with my money. Could have more, for sure. I think anybody could, really, you know. I suck at managing it, <laughs> I really do. It's like now I make so much more money than I ever have. It's like I just can't help it, you know what I mean? Growing up poor, I guess that's part of the problem, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>
Whew, yeah, right, you guys, man. I appreciate y'all for watching, you know what I'm saying? I hope you guys heard all of that. And uh, you guys are amazing. You guys, again, like I said, you guys have helped me chase dreams and make them come true. And there's still this up and coming one that's going to come true. Win, lose, or draw, no matter how many views that video gets, I, I did it. That's the main thing. I did it. And I don't know. It may be good, it may be bad. I haven't got to that point yet. You know what I'm saying? But all right, you guys. Until my next one, you know what I'm saying?